Hello, hello, it's Tash and Ro. Welcome to or welcome back to It's Saturday, Saturday. your personal self-care pod where you can escape the work week and unwind with your two besties no matter what day of the week it is, but for us, it's Saturday. All right. Hey, we're back. We're back, baby. We're face to face. Face to face, back to back. <laughs> no, seriously, we're trying a different setup yeah. today. Mm-hmm. We're going to try to just face each other, have yeah. a conversation. Yeah. And You're we're so going to see. Oh, my I God. I was hour. like, I don't want to look over there. Oh What's God, over here? My camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back after a couple weeks off. It's, Dude, it feels... it feels like it's been really long, but it's been like, what, two, two, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. Yeah, we were busy, guys. Like, we have a lot to catch up on. Like, so we much. actually went to a wedding while we were on break. Yeah. Um, but we're going to just save that for another day. It's that could be a whole episode on its yeah, own. So literally. we're just going to, like, recap that in a later episode because mm-hmm. we still have literally all of the updates from the last two weeks to catch up like, on. I feel like we left everyone in the dark because we went to Caribou Cup and we just like didn't We're talk like, about it. We're like, peace out guys, going to Caribou yeah, Cup. Going to the best weekend of the oh, year. Oh, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> so we will fill you guys in yeah. on some Caribou Cup bullshit. So we went with like, what probably there was like 20 of us it was a larger group than last year for sure yeah. it was like a lot 20. of the girls came which is super fun yeah yeah it was super fun um it <laughs> we have so many stories so first of all <laughs> we we get there and our friend elias had rented out like a uh a suite, a suite. and yeah. honestly guys if you're going to caribou cup like i just feel like it's so essential to get you need a hotel, hotel yeah in, on the hill on the hill yeah because we had friends that rented a spot away from the hill and then they didn't even stay in it no because you just everything's happening there you need to have like a hub and that was our hub thank god yeah you need hq HQ, thank god that elias got this spot because we were just like thank you (laughs) we went there see you there in the morning yeah and at night um so yeah we rolled up there to the suite and immediately the vibes were just like immaculate everyone had their shades on and their ski swag like everyone looked so good good. and it was also our friend Haley's birthday yes so the birthday vibes were there too so it was caribou cup and a birthday yeah okay so was it friday night that we did the whole um skipping the line thing or was that saturday it was, I think it was Friday, was right? Friday. Okay, so Friday yes. night we get there, and at first we were supposed to have a dinner rezzo at Lucille's. It's like a nice, fancy seafood restaurant based out of Montreal. We were not feeling fancy, guys. We were like, this no. is... We were 10 out of 10 lit by like 9 p.m., and yeah. the rezzo was at like 10 p.m. We would have been banned for life <laughs> if we walked into this restaurant. <laughs> like, there was no way. There was no way. Mm-hmm. So we were like, screw the rezzo. We're going to just go to Caribou. Yeah. And but the girls... It was already bumping. It was packed the line was infinite yeah it was <laughs> it's was just extremely long so we had a like a little idea yeah because our friend cody god bless cody works for red bull so in the elevator was i think it was was it your idea yeah i was like well guys because he said he has a rezzo for yes. for red bull but he can only get a couple people in and yeah. i was like guys let's just say we work for red bull we won't say cody's name we'll just say yeah. hey, we're, with red, we're with red bull and yeah. then tash like that's a brilliant idea. And Natasha just took the reins. She's like, I'm doing it. Let's go. You just, yeah, guys, if you're going to do something like this, you just need to exude confidence yep. and like just take on the role and believe the role yourself. Like in that moment, I truly worked for Red Bull. If they we had asked there. me my ID number, where I started, who my <laughs> boss was, like I what was. What our favorite beverage was. Yeah, like we had it I down. was ready to answer. Thankfully, he didn't ask me anything. He literally was like, beautiful girl, <laughs> come on in. We literally go to the front of the line and these girls literally stop us and they're like, there's a line. And yeah. we're like, Red Bull, excuse me, yeah. Red Bull. Like, Don't worry. <laughs> and he immediately was like, okay, lets us in, stamps us, no cover. Cover. They said it was like $20, 20 a person. Then we're feeling like really like high on life right now. We're like, oh my God, we can do anything. So we go to coat check and then we're like, let's drop the R-bomb again. We roll up. We're like, we're with Red Bull. She's like, I don't care. It's three dollars. <laughs> I was like, like, she's like, I don't give a shit if you're with fucking Ferrari, <laughs> like Lamborghini. Give me three dollars. Like, like, are you sure they're like I'm with red, like Red Bull? She's like, it's three dollars. I was like, okay, three. We so can do. We can spare three dollars. We paid three dollars total to get in, which is amazing, I think. But yeah, Coachek girls. They saw right through us. I oh guess. my gosh. And then the guys were behind us and they were like, guys, the lineup is so long. We're like, 
really we we wouldn't know yeah, we like what do you mean we just got to the front <laughs> just i don't like, even know how they did they get in through red bull too no i think <laughs> the boys said they were with red bull and they got in and then cody was the last person to come who was actually with red bull and at this point they're like bro like no like there's been like 20. 10 guys just came by with red bull like, there's no way you're with red bull and i think he actually had like they were like proof. yeah do you have id and he had to actually prove that he, he, had to prove that he was with red bull, he was with red bull. <laughs> We views that so hard. Oh, and then man. the whole weekend, we were just like, we're with Red Bull, we're with Red Bull. Yeah, we're and Red then Bull Red, Bulls. we saw people who worked for Red Bull and we walked up to them, hey guys, how's it going? Is it <laughs> how's your shift going? I was like, like, can I sub in? Can I help out yeah, at any what point? Do you need? <laughs> no, that was honestly really, really funny. That oh, was hilarious. Oh my God. Oh yeah. my gosh. But it did take us, was it the first night? It took us a really long time to get a cab. Uh, yeah, it was the first, or yeah. was it the second night? I no, can't remember. It was remember. the first night. The first night was just you and me. Yeah. I don't know where the boys were. Did they walk? They home? went to the casino. Oh, yes. They went to the casino. We're like, all right, you guys have fun there. So we went back and just hung out with Haley. That's what we yes. did. We hung out with Haley. We just ate a bunch of popcorn, messed up the floor. And then it was like 3 30 in the morning. And we're like, this was supposed to be a chill, chill night, night. And we need to get home. Guys, there are like four cabs in all of Trombone. Like, it's so hard to get a cab. So we go down to the lobby, and immediately the girl's like, it's going to be two hours. Two hours. She's like, like, you guys have a better chance of walking. And we're like, we're not walking. Two hours? And then she's like, yeah. She called. She's like, yeah, it's going to be two hours. And I started speaking French. And then she was like, oh, um, I'm like, just give me the number. Like, I'll call myself. She's like, oh, I think it'll be like one hour. I'm like, just give me the number. Like, let me call. This girl's trying to bamboozle she's, us. Yeah, she's she was trying to like, like, literally, she just was being like lazy. I feel she just didn't want to like call us a cab. Yeah. So anyway, I got the number. I called the cab, spoke in French to the person. And I think it came in what? Like, I want to say 15 minutes. Yeah. It, it wasn't like 15 long. Minutes, it wasn't that long. It wasn't long. Like they were like trying to play us because they thought that we didn't speak. But French. also, I forgot how well like you speak French so well, and I was like, <laughs> oh my, I was a little taken <laughs> back. Uh, combien de temps? Oh, she, she kept how calling long? mom. She's like, hello, combien de temps? And I was just like, oh my god, who is this French lady? Yeah, we. But, uh, oh, and oh, that was being in the cab with this man, and we're obviously just like chatting him up, and we're just like, hey, so like, are you around tomorrow? Like, are you going on the hill, Caribou Cup? And he's like, no, I don't really party. I'm like, oh, like, yeah, no, us neither. We're just like, we're just like we're checking just, it out. We're just chill. But like, can we like get your number to call a cab tomorrow? And he was like, no. no. And I'm like, oh. He's okay. like, and then Tash kept being like, so you're coming to party on the hill? Like, where are you going to be at? Like, tomorrow's the big day. And he's like, I don't care. I don't even know what's yeah. going on. Like, I'm like, I'm do you have like a business card? And he's like, here. And I'm like, okay, but I work for Red Bull, so. <laughs> I can hook it up. <laughs> he was not dad. I don't oh think he drinks Oh my God, no, no. Anyway, he got us home safe and sound. I feel like the boys got home not long after us. No, we were just like, we were like, peace out. We're yeah. going to bed. They got home, I think, not too long after. And yeah. then the next morning we were like, we oh, geez, tired. let's go. Yeah. But it was also cloudy. So I feel like that yes. really impacts your mm-hmm. mood. The weather wasn't as good this year as it was last year. Yeah. But at least it didn't rain as much as it was supposed to. Because mm-hmm. it was calling for a shit ton of rain. It was just a little cloudy. We got to it a little later than we did the year before. Um, but then we're ready to rally. We were ready to go. Like we went, I think we got there. We pre-drank at the hotel. And then we, for noon. Then we just went to Caribou again. Like, we Literally. didn't go to the hill we at all. Sh- I know. I we didn't like, even watch the thing. The reason why we didn't go watch it in person was because, and I think Caribou was smart to do this. We got to Caribou, and we were sitting in a spot that had TVs, and the TV was playing. Yes. What, like, it was playing the whole ski event. So we yep. were kind of like, why are we going to go out when it's, like, not very nice out to, like, stand in a crowd where you're not going to be able to see when it's, like, on TV right in front of us. And we really wanted to get our stamp so that we could come back at night. Yes, to be And guarantee line. that we were going to mm-hmm. get in because, guys, this lineup, if you're not prepared, like, you'll be it's in line so all night. It's so long. It's oh so my God, long. Literally, it's so, so, so long. It's and the- our Red Bull trick probably was not going to work the second time no, around. No, no. So we got our stamps. But then at one point, like, they just kept playing the same song. They kept playing Bohemian the- Rhapsody. Oh, my God. They- I fucking hate that song I, now. I, I, I hate it, too. And it's not a party song. No. So so they were like, playing Mama really Mia, old Mama. like white rock music like it was just like okay we gotta we gotta take a break we, we gotta, gotta take, take a break, break. Yeah. so we went back to the hotel partied more some people took naps got food yeah i was not about the nap game i was like guys no, get up we gotta I rally napped, would, if i nap i'm like i can't get up or no. if i get up i'll be so tired right groggy yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. so then we we kept going like we were just we like kept let's going. rally and we went back the music was sick and it was so really good fun. yeah and then yeah. we just stayed out again i think till like one 
Two? Yeah. Was Somewhere it earlier there. night? Because it was started earlier. Right? And we saw some Saturdays out and about. Yeah. And they told we us did. that they listen and it was really nice. We saw so many fun people, so many cool people. It's great vibes. It's honestly just like a big, a, a lot of people from Ottawa go. Yeah. So it's just like a big reunion. 100%. Yeah. We're already booked ready for next year. We don't know when it's happening, but we're going. We're going. We'll be there. Oh my God. Remember we saw the guy dressed <gasps> in a dill pickle? Yes. We're like, can we take a picture with oh my you? God, the best part was his name. Do you remember his name? <gasps> D- Dylan? Dylan. Dylan the Dylan Dill. Dylan the Dill Pickle. Wow. Dylan, if you're watching this, we love you. You're a cool dude. We love you. <laughs> oh my God. That made our day. That was insane. And we Why did we wear pogos? I think we just Oh, just I think like it's because I embarrassingly ate pogos. I dipped it in the yogurt. Maybe you're okay. drinking on blast. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. Night, <laughs> honestly, now that I was thinking about it, I was like, she's actually weird brilliant. Food <laughs> weird food combos yeah. we went back to the hotel room on friday and then so hungry we were so starving we only had pogos but there was no condiments there was no yeah. ketchup no there ketchup. was no mustard mm-hmm. and tash was like i need something like this is so dry and i was Literally. like i agreed with you it was very dry so the, all we had was greek yogurt little greek small yogurt. greek yogurts <laughs> where the strawberry was at the bottom but i will give you the mm-hmm. benefit of the doubt you didn't like scoop the strawberry out no, it was just the top oh, layer yeah, exactly so it was basically like mayo it was basically yeah. like sour cream exactly yeah yeah it was delicious it was good no regrets. it was good <laughs> oh my god but while we were in tromblon like in the morning we were getting ready for like eating breakfast and um st- matt's stepdad told us the story about vanderpump rules and how he's like he watches Vanderpump Rules. I he Tell watched the Vanderpump and he watched Housewives and like all like sell, like Beverly Hills. All these but all these shows he literally got into them even before I did. Which is and I always thought it was legend. so funny that like Richard like you know this big strong man like is like so into like all the Desperate Housewives. And the most tragic story, one of the most tragic stories of my entire life, is the fact that a few years ago, I think it was 2019, before I was into reality TV. Okay. Um, we went to LA with Matt's parents and Richard's like. Like when we go to LA, we're going to um, go to Beverly Hills, and I want us to get a reservation at this new restaurant like called Tom Tom's. And I'm like, "What is Tom Tom's?" He's like, "Oh, it's this new restaurant like Lisa Vanderpump." I'm like, "Vanderpump Rules." And I was like, "I don't, I, okay, yeah, if you want to go, sure." But like, we've never heard of it. But we were, went there on a Monday, and we we're only there during the day, and it closed at five, so we weren't. I'm sorry, it opened at five o'clock, so we weren't able to go because we wanted to somewhere for lunch. Okay, so we ended up going to the Beverly Hills Hotel. But at the time, I'm like, okay, it doesn't even matter because I don't know what the spot is. Fast forward to me like four years four later. Years, I'm, like, I'm like, I almost got to go to Tom Tom's that's, in LA. And he was like, guys, let's go to Sir. Let's go here. And I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah, like, what about Sir? And I'm like, Sir what? Sir, sir who? What are you talking about? Sir who? Sir Tom? <laughs> like, what's going so on? So we have to go back to LA. Richard, I know you listen to the pod. We got to go back to Beverly Hills. I think that's so cool that he's like in his 60s. He's like a strong big guy and he watches Vanderpump Rules. I'm like, who do you hate? Who do you love? Yeah, he's all about the drama. It's so fun. I love that. I love that. That's so fun. Did he put you on the show? Like, was he like, go watch this? The first, the person that like truly put me on it was Kate Taylor. Okay. She was like, I watched The Circle randomly and I'm like, oh, guys, I like reality TV now. Like, (laughs) that was my first reality TV show. I'm like, what should I watch? She's like, no, you need to watch Vanderpump Rules. It is like the dirtiest, raunchiest, like craziest show. And I crushed it like that summer, like caught all up. And here we are. Here we are when all the shit, now everyone's watching it. I know, it's insane. Um, Okay, also another random little update is that JVN. Jonathan Van Ness. Yes. That we love their products. We've been talking about yeah. their products for like a year now. Clean beauty, affordable, yeah. purple bottles. They're amazing. We, we made a them. TikTok randomly and we tagged them and they reposted us on their page. Yeah. And, and it's funny because we made it and they didn't like repost us to like a little while later. So it's one of those things where it's like, oh, we kind of forgot that we made that video. And yeah. so then to wake up to that it was like, oh my gosh, because oh they my. have like 100,000 followers. And they followed us on TikTok. So. Guys, if guys, you're not following us, if you're on- JVNs and you're not, like, yeah, come on, so come on, come on. Mm. Okay, tell me about your Pilates journeys. Okay, slash, it's not Pilates. It's not Pilates. Okay, okay, so I signed up for this new studio at Studio Twitch it's on Bank Street. I thought it was Pilates. Apparently, Pilates and Legree are very different. So Pilates are like the principles of it are just different. So it's like body weight, micro movements, like a lot of repetition, whereas Legree okay. like involves weights. So okay. it's more like weight training, but also like a lot of core stability, um, similar to Pilates, but just more strength training is involved. So it's kind of like a harder Pilates, I guess. Anyway, I literally did this class yesterday. I loved it. It was so much fun. In the middle of the class, I was thinking like, wow, this is so fun. I can't wait to sign up for a class tomorrow because I'm going to go again tomorrow. 
wake up today, my body is attacked. So sore. Like it hurts to breathe. <gasps> like my core has never felt like this. Okay, tell me about this machines. You know, like oh they. God, it's so, so do intimidating. You, do you like sit on them? Like work? like parts of it, you use your legs. Parts of it, it's like your shoulders, and then your knees are on one part of it, like working your core up and down. Like I and I've only done one class. I'm sure there's like way more moves with it that I don't even know. But okay. I know I looked at it and I was like, what the fuck do I do with this? And the instructor, I think, saw the fear in my eyes, and she's like, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it. Like, okay. So she was at the front essentially she's doing the movement. Around. She oh. never even was actually on the machine. She just like explained how to do it and she was really good at explaining oh, okay. it. And there are also girls there. I could tell that one, they either work there or two, they go here a lot and they were like in front of me. So I kind of watched what they were doing. Got you. But now I feel a lot more comfortable after my first class, but still like, and I didn't think my, my butt and my legs were going to hurt this much. They're so sore. Because in the movement, while you're doing it, you're like, this is, doesn't feel that bad. Like, it's like micro mm-hmm. movements. But if you do it that many times. Oh, my gosh. And even like. Slow. We, then after. So it's half of it is like micro movements. And then their half is like hit. So they're slow. And then a hip portion. Oh, wow. And the hip portion. I, I had, I think, like 10 pound weights. And I, like the first round I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, I wish I went heavier with these weights. By the third round, I'm dead. Like, I, I'm not even doing it fast anymore. I'm like, I'm going slow. And I'm like gas oh my god yeah so i think it was it was a 45 minute workout i burned like 350 calories that's so good like it was intense yeah and there's parking on bank street it has a massive parking lot so okay so that's that. one thing about spinco which i was like yeah I, the stress of just like getting mm-hmm. there so early 30 minutes early just yeah. to find parking paying sometimes, for parking paying for parking sometimes you get parking tickets like oh my, i've gotten yeah do you know me and Haley, we've gotten a couple parking yes yeah, so that's <laughs> one turn off of me i was like oh yeah. i just wish it was like in a place where i could park and mm-hmm. then yeah, and this you is know, a massive lot. That's so. so nice. Okay, and how much is a um, monthly membership? So I got the like intro one where okay. it's unlimited for one month. The day you sign up, it starts for $65. And okay. I got the socks included because you need like these like grippy socks. Oh, They're, cool. So I think those normally cost like $15. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then after that, I think if you want to do unlimited, I think it's $160 a month. Okay. But then they also, because it's attached to um, Soul Speak Yoga, there's also packages where you can mix it with the yoga as well. Cool. Whoa. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop. Yep. Which nice. is pretty interesting. That's awesome. Hey, yeah. we love that. New places. Oh my gosh. I'm Stepping out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And I actually know one of the instructors there. So I'm excited to try her class. We used to work oh. together at Joey. Shout out to Katie. I can't wait to try oh your class. God, that's awesome. That's I'm so fun. Excited. Okay. It's another fun some exciting news is it was like beautiful outside Holy this weekend. Shit. Like so summer. nice. And summer. yeah, we put out our patio furniture and we like cleaned up our backyard. And I'm like, I can you feel take, summer coming. Did like, you take the gazebo down? Yeah, we took down that. <laughs> guys, we just like are so over our gazebo. We like left the, what is it called? Like the fabric part on because yeah. we were just like, we're over this. Like it's such a mission to take on and off each yeah. year. Last year, we didn't even step foot into like the gazebo area. Like we literally, literally didn't even use it because we have like um, a shaded area on our deck. So I'm mm-hmm. like, this is useless. And then this year, it's, we had the most amount of snow we've ever had. Literally, it was so So much. it sunk. <laughs> like, the whole thing just, like, collapsed. I'm like, okay, this makes an easier takedown. Did you so, just throw it out? Yeah, we threw out, yeah, like, the po- top it. part. And then okay. we just have to disassemble, like, the actual structure part of it. Okay. But super easy. I haven't easy. checked for your backyard. It must look so much bigger then. It, yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to remove... We're going to, like... We have a, a plan for that area. Because I'm like, this is, like, unused space. We can like put a fire pit there yeah. or like something more fun. Right now yes. it was just like a random area mm-hmm. where you can eat where we never ate there. Yeah, because so. you're always eating like right on the Yeah, back. exactly. Yeah, I feel like we got teased this weekend. Like patio furniture got out. So beautiful out. I was and drinking then, on a patio and then it fucking snowed this morning. Yeah. It was rude. It's very rude. That it's very, very rude. Like, rude. You that can't actually, just do that and then bring it away. Like No, yeah. that actually literally leads me into like our only i'm sorry bud because you've had such a fucking sick last two weeks there's nothing we're sorry for but this was on the i'm sorry but two weeks ago and it's still relevant i'm sorry but wireton willie i trusted you and if you don't know who wireton willie is i didn't know until you told me i, I like, only know because i'm a teacher on groundhog day is like a fun big Warton. thing to do at school you get to watch the fucking groundhog come out <laughs> but it doesn't matter because he lied he said that winter was gonna end early and spring was on the horizon and then we got a fucking ice storm and it's still snowing right now. The worst ice storm ever that people lost power. Yeah. For like a few days. For a long time. Like our neighborhood, I don't know about you guys, our neighborhood is like fucked up. Like, really? There's like trees all over. There's like uprooted trees. Like on paths you normally walk stark. Like it's yeah. really bad. On Hunt Club it was like that too. Like mm-hmm. all around here. It wasn't that bad here. But yeah, guys, like Ottawa's been hit with a few 
crazy storms. storms. This, well, I guess the first one was last year, last May, and then there was the first storm in December, and then yep. this ice storm. Crazy. Yeah, I never trusted groundhog. Dude, I didn't even know that they had names. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, speaking, uh, let's just go right into some socials because Coachella is going on right now. Yes. Is it over? I don't know. I think, no, I don't think it's over. Okay, it's well, quite a while. It's, it's going on as we speak. Would and you ever go? Honestly, I feel like it would be one of those things I'd I'd want to go to, and then while I'd be there, I'd be like, "This is so tiring." Mm. But I feel like we could, we I would be down I to go. go one day. Yeah, like I don't I don't want to go and like I don't really care to have like this extravagant outfit. Like I'd go more like the show, whatever route I feel. But yeah. I feel like they have some sick people. Like, they do. Did down. you hear what happened with Frank Ocean yes. though? Yes, just people are rattled. Like he showed up an hour late. Yeah, he hasn't performed in like six years. Didn't even say like thank you. Changing his mind a shit ton. About Apparently, stuff. he was like lip singing a lot of it. And yeah, like, not even like trying to lip sync though. Like there's just like music in the background. He wasn't even like really going. I'd be annoyed. It. It spent and like t- Coachella tickets are ridiculous. Oh yeah, especially because like, most so people expensive. are like flying there. Yeah, and you're staying there. Okay, so fun fact. Ticket. I heard that a lot. Like I saw on TikTok, this influencer was like, guys, honestly, most of these influencers that look like they're at Coachella buy a ticket they mm. go there they dress up they stand outside the Coachella <laughs> area they take their photos and then they leave they don't actually go to the concert why because they just want to like get Pretend. the content and That's look like they're so there with like dumb. without actually going because they don't have the money to spend to actually go oh, into wow. the concert yeah so don't believe everything you see on social media because yeah. social media is fake it's all fake but I wanted to rate some of the Coachella outfits yes. because and we'll like plop the pictures up so if you have your video mm-hmm. you can kind of rate them with us and we can go through it so okay so the first one I'll show you is from Alex Earl um, I loved all her outfits I loved her outfits too oh my I God. thought that these pants first of all I, I didn't know that in Coachella like obviously they're in the desert during the day it's really hot but at night it it's gets cold. really cold yeah so I can get why she wore like this leather kind of um mm-hmm. vest love these pants I like the crochet like yeah, overlay she looks amazing her body is so sick dude but she I mean she's young so yeah have you heard the rumor she's might be getting invited to the Met Gala yes what the heck? Imagine. Guys. She, I'm down. I would love to see what she would wear. Me, me too. And I'm like the get ready with me. Get ready with me yeah. to go to the Magala. And I feel like she'd be very real. And maybe we'd get an insight about what the hell goes on mm-hmm. inside. Because also- what? speaking of her did you see how she posted that like transparency thing where she's like guys everyone's saying like i look so good it looks so good she's like i have the beauty filter on my skin is breaking out she took the beauty filter off like showed her acne i'm yeah. like this is why you actually are a real one like, and she also just always does that her shit. like side was like crusty and like mm-hmm. she actually looked From real Accutane. yeah she still looked beautiful too she looks so good thing, but just like showing like non-beauty filter because i feel like the beauty filter like it looks so realistic like it really gets you because then you see your pores in real life and you're like Ew, wait i yeah. have pores like disgusting yeah. everyone has fucking pores guys. everyone yeah and also it's like the beauty filter usually if you put on a filter on tiktok it t- it says like this filter yeah, but, but the beauty doesn't. filter doesn't say anything she's sneaky she's sneaky okay who's next um outfit? okay emma chamberlain and she okay, had multiple looks yet. this is Ooh. one of her looks it's okay. giving airport for yeah, me. Yeah, I was thinking like alien kind of vibes. Yeah, I like this bag, but I just feel like I would wear it for like a second and then mm. I'd be like, I'm annoyed. Like, I also really liked her blonde hair. I didn't realize she went dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't like those sunglasses. I hate I them. Hate, like I know they just would not look good on me at all. Like, but those kind of, you know, like Kim yeah. Kardashian wears those like alien ones too. I just really don't like them. I really don't like them either. Um. Yeah. Okay, so sorry. What would you give this one? 10 out of 10? Um, the Alex Earl yeah, one? 10 out of 10. I, yeah, I really liked hers. Yeah. Okay, this one I'm giving like a 6. Okay, I'm giving it like a 3. Yeah. It's, okay. It's white. It's going to get so dirty. Yeah, it's going to get dirty. I just feel like without the, the bag practical. without the bag and without the little vest what is it really it's just mm-hmm. like a lululemon yeah like workout mm-hmm. outfit i don't know i'm not loving it no um kendall jenner okay let me look at it closer um okay yeah i get her i get the vibe but she's just like i'm so fucking famous it doesn't matter um I feel like her, she looks better <laughs> dressing up to go just out to dinner than she does. Yeah, here. that's not only yeah, and of course it's she's not giving. It's not giving. I think I still would. I would wear that over Emma's outfit, so I, I'll give it higher. So I don't like these sandals. Those sandals are awful. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah. Okay, Haley Bieber. What? Okay, 
I just don't love these baggy pants. I'm just not about it. I just feel like it would look so bad on me it if I wore it. It would look so bad on me, but it, I, I like her outfit on her. On, on her. her. I like I like the way that she looks right now. I think it would look better if it wasn't the, these pants. Like the top part of her outfit, I feel like yeah. looks a lot better than... Yeah, on her pants. Like, like the crotch is like... It looks like she, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she pooped her pants. <laughs> I like it. I like her little body chain. Yeah, body chain. I like the slick back hair. Yeah, the hair is cool. I like her sunglasses. Mm-hmm. I like her bag. I don't like the pants. I, yeah. Four. Yeah, four. This, Kylie Jenner. Okay. What is she... Why does she look like she hasn't showered in like five in weeks? Why is she in the shower? She's, she's in the shower. <laughs> it's because she's, she's about to shower now. That's why she looks like that. <laughs> she's in the shower about to shower she's about to shower i don't like where's it her loofah? where's her freaking I it's on she... her it's on her top <laughs> like what this looks mm. like a s- jacket you could get at our dens like yeah, it's just that came in one of our surprise bags <laughs> <laughs> <We> folded up <laughs> i don't like it it's it it's like they're trying so hard not to try that it's like yeah but it looks like you tried so hard not to try also it does it, is that a crop top she's wearing or just a shirt that she mm, pulled up? I think up? she rolled up. It's giving a bit Michelin man as well. <laughs> uh, three. I give it like a two. This is my least favorite one. So I hate far. this one. Yeah, this is just not. Okay, Amelia Gray, what went on with her? Holy Hannah. Um, Amelia Gray. If you don't know Amelia Gray, <laughs> she's the daughter of which housewife? Lisa Renda. Lisa Renda. And Harry Hamlin. Yeah. So the thing about her is I've seen her growing up on the show okay. and like this was just like not like her body like do you know what i mean like she's clearly like she's ha- she's been open about her ed before and stuff so it just makes me concerned when i see but i feel like, like she this. was very beautiful at some point that mm-hmm. she like dyed her i think she's trying to be angelina jolie yeah but like their nirvana version of her like i don't even know man like it's scary she's giving like i hate to say like the like whole like heroin chic thing but it's just like with like that's kind of i don't like it Mm. I give it a two, it's one. Two. Okay, last one. Shay Mitchell, who I'm like obsessed oh with. I love Shay Mitchell. I love her. Is she I a love mom? Her. Yes. Oh my She's a mom. god. Yeah. She is so beautiful. She's stunning. I, I love this. I would wear something like see, this. See, I love her outfit because it's like it's sexy but practical. Yes. Like her boots are nice. Her hair. Like, cute little bag. I need a lip gloss in there. Hair's up. So if you're sweaty. I love it. That's my favorite one so I think that's my favorite, and I love the boots, too. Yeah, because I give this one a 10. I love Alex Earls a lot, but I'm like, I would feel so weird wearing that. I feel like I'd be sweating in those pants. Like, I would wear this and feel confident, and I wouldn't feel like imposter syndrome. Like, the other outfit's just too cool for me. Yeah. Couldn't do it. So 10 out of 10. I think Shay Mitchell killed it. Um, Okay, so those are a little rate uh, Coachella outfits. Loved it. Um, okay, another th- trend I've been seeing on TikTok, and I wanted to ask you because I don't use self-tanner, obviously, because mm. I'm freaking dark, but people have been face contouring with self-tanner. I've been seeing this, and I'm like, that is so bold. And your confidence, I want to have your confidence. Like, that's beyond my Red Bull confidence. How would you, like, how would you even do that? Like, if you accidentally go a little bit too dark, then it's just oh, like, it would I look so know. weird. Like, it looks good on the girlies that I've seen do it, but personally, even though I've been spray tanning myself and I think I'm really good at spray tanning myself, I would never do that. No. No, it's too permanent. Like I, I but I do use like the drops, like the Illa Paradise drops on my entire face. Okay. To get my whole face like a an little even glow. tan. But why do I need to contour my tan? Like why do I need to do that? No. Or tan my contour. And That's even intense. these like like the reverse contouring makeup thing that Mary Phillips has mm-hmm. been doing, being like where you do your contour yes, first, do and then the you add the. I don't like Dude, it. These trends are just flip flopping all Dude, around. I don't like, like it. By the time like you're gonna put this on and it's gonna last for a week and the trend's gonna change, so it's like <laughs> it's don't gonna, do it. No, no, it's gonna be like bleach your <laughs> bleach your face oh now. <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh my god! Um, I discovered something really cool that I want to know if you knew. Okay. Well, actually, well Matt discovered it and then we played it. But did you know Netflix has trip? trivia no oh my god it's so cool we were literally in bed one night and he was like do you want to play trivia and i was like obviously yes i fucking love trivia i love games and on netflix you have like you can play one player by yourself or like two player and it's just like random trivia on your phone on your phone what on the netflix app 
Yeah. Can and you like, play it on your, on the actual, like, I think on you your could TV? Too. I'm sure you could. <gasps> what? But it was so fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. So what kind of trivia? Does it, like, movies? Does, like, com- like movies, like, sports, like, geography, history, like, pop culture, like, literally everything. This... It was very well-versed. And there were some things I was, like, sick. Like, I know this for sure. And there were some, I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? You That's never even heard such a good pre-drink game. Yeah. We should fun. use that at the next pre-drink. Yeah, we'll definitely do it. Oh, my God. That's so I sick. Know, Thank you, really Netflix. Cool finally doing something for yeah. all the money that we're paying i love a good trip <laughs> okay speaking of like shows and stuff okay i know we've talked about like gen z and like how a lot of the stuff we grew up with are like chuggy for them and blah 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 but did you know that like they find friends now offensive which is like one of my favorite shows like can we just leave the 90s and early 2000s alone like i feel like a lot of quote unquote offensive shit happened back then but like it wasn't malicious like no. some you know just just and laugh a little it's, it's, like it's not that it's tea. the times like the culture was mm-hmm. different the climate was different literally yeah and i just feel like comedy is with the times like you can't go back to mm-hmm. different jokes back in the day because the really climate was different so yeah, even like same goes with like stand-up comedy even sometimes, yeah you know like i'm sure there are certain things stand-up comics back then would never say now and like that was just the climate exactly and you live and you learn but like don't hate on friends no like come on i like, love that's gonna friends. be a show that i watch forever forever and ever yeah. and i laugh at the joke still and i've seen it like 10 or 15 times do they the ever do a remake of friends have they done that yet no like a reboot i feel like that must be coming soon oh but God. also like that's the kind of show i'm like does anyone even want to touch that like it's so iconic i don't think they would because who can replace like that yeah. that cast was so iconic right? did you know that courtney cox just recently got put on the hollywood stars like you know in hollywood where everyone has Only a star recently? Only recently she just got really? put on there. Yeah. Wow. Does um, Jennifer Adams? Ha- wait. Jennifer Aniston? Aniston? Yeah, she has, she one. has one. Um, I actually wrote this in the notes randomly because I was like, what the fuck? But apparently there's like, oh, h- how many stars do you think there are? I actually wrote this Number in the Number of Hollywood stars. That okay. there are total. Um, okay. Wait, is it less than a thousand or more than a thousand? More than a thousand. Oh my God. Okay. Um... I did not know this. 3,496. Very close. Oh 2,751 okay. as of March 1st. And she just got one. She just got one. Who was the first person to get a star? Oh my God. I don't know. I can Google that. Who was? Yeah. I wonder what the criteria is as well and who is making these decisions. I don't know. Because like, why didn't Courtney Cox have one? Uh, the official groundbreaking ceremony is held on Hollywood. Blah, blah, blah. Actress, actress Joanne Woodward. Never heard of her. No. 1960s. Wow. Okay, so it's been around for a minute as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's so interesting. Yeah. So, um, okay. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, okay, firehouse subs. This is so off topic. So good. But we have recently just been, Mm. after Caribou Cup, you were like, Matt was like, we're going to go get firehouse subs. And I was like, I love firehouse subs, but I feel like we don't eat it enough. Yeah. Well, you're a subway till you die. Yeah, we, we are. <laughs> but now I feel like we've had firehouse subs twice since then. Mm. And I'm like, it's, it's just so, so good. good. It's literally like the like high end version of subs. Like their meatball sub. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's unmatched. It's unmatched. It's unmatched and unparalleled. And it's so good. You don't even have to add anything to it. It's perfect the way it is. And you got a pickle on the side. Yeah, mine didn't come with a pickle and I was pissed. Oh, yeah. The I pickle on the pissed. side is key. And you get to help your local firefighters because yeah. you just round up like exactly. your total. I was telling Matt, I'm like, everybody that is trying to get money from someone needs to just do a roundup. Round because up. if someone asks me, do you want to give $2? I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, that's a big, $2 is a big Do you want to give $5? No. 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 But do you want to round, round up? up? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're a fucking asshole if you don't round up. If if you, someone was like, hey, you want to round up to the ne- nearest dollar and you say no, like. Like, what are you doing? It's like 20 cents. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Everyone needs to jump on the roundups. Like, yeah. I think that's such a smart. Marketing, yes, like, way 100%. to. But I only know them that do it. It's only them. Yeah. And everyone I was in line, like. Every single person said yes. Oh, yeah. So I just feel like the success rate is so high that you're actually getting more money than if you had just asked for a dollar. Exactly. You know? Yeah, a dollar is a big commitment. Yeah. So, guys, eat firehouse subs. Mm. It's like our new addiction. I freaking love it. Also, okay, so Matt brought up this funny point the other day. Like, my Sephora order came in. And I was like, oh, like, look at all these things, like, that I need. Like, I need this highlighter now. Mine's run out. Like, I need my new cleanser. And, like, oh, my gosh, I need this hair oil. He's like, man, I'm so happy that, like, I don't have to partake in the pink tax. 
I'm like, the pink tax? I'm what's like, that? what's the pink tax? He's like, it's the tax you pay for being a girl. Like, all this shit that you guys buy, like, for your hair, your nails, your lashes, like, da da. He's like, it's part of the pink tax. I'm oh like, God. oh my God, I want to know how much money I spend on the pink tax each year. And it's a lot. <laughs> hair, <laughs> nails. I, if you get your eyelashes done. Literally. And not even just the money, but also the time. Time. Yeah. The time. Because and time I might be more actually. Than time is money. Spend it on, so I spend it on a watch, you know? Yeah. Like, go on. That's like when we're at like, any wedding you go to, and I've been in the bridal party like a few times now, like we're waking up 6 a.m. getting our hair, getting our makeup, doing all this shit. Like we're stressed. Like, oh my God, I hate my hair. I hate my makeup. Let's redo it. Do this. Do that. The boys, drinking beer. Rolling out of bed. Playing beer pong. Maybe shaving. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not even getting a haircut. Playing Probably spike just- ball. They're chilling. Like until an hour before, they have no responsibilities. No. This pink tox is out of control. It is draining. It is draining. It is freaking draining. Yeah. And and on top of that, we also have like our menstruation. So we have to get like tampons oh my God. and These- pads and birth control and Ugh. all this stuff. The energy it takes is insane. Every day I have to remember, take my birth control or I'm going to have a fucking baby. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that pressure on me? <laughs> and then they wonder why we're always in a bad mood. Literally. <laughs> like, come on. The amount of things we have to remember, whereas you just get out of bed and go on yeah. with your day. That's why men empty the dishwasher. Yeah. Go get the groceries. Do a little Make more. Make the appointment. Just do it. We're busy. We're busy we're doing. Busy. We're busy. Like, oh my God. Trying to like fucking contain all of this. Yeah. It's insane. God's a woman. <laughs> so I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God. Oh okay. My I want to talk about this show that I've been obsessing over and I actually mm. just finished it recently. Oh my God. We have so much on Showtime. Guys, that is alarming. We have a lot. <laughs> we've been watching. We've been we've watching. Been watching. <laughs> um, the Big Brunch. It's called The Big Brunch. It's oh. on HBO, but I think you can, there's other ways that you can watch. Hint, hint, hint. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Dan Levy's show. Okay. Um, I, love I'm, Dan. I love Dan Levy. Mm. It's essentially a show about um, inspiring sh- like chefs, cooks, like entrepreneurs that cook. Oh, it's like a real sh- a reality it's a, kind of It's show. a reality type of Ooh, show. Okay. And it's called The Big Brunch because all these guys are working towards some kind of big goal. They either have like a mm. small business that they're trying to expand. They're trying to write a cookbook. They're trying okay. to like blow up their business and so they're trying it's like their big break so it's called the The big Big brunch Brunch. and honestly guys i binged the show it's like i think 10 episodes it is so good you're gonna be obsessed with the show it is so good and what so sola sola el wali well el wali i I don't know how to say her last name but but she's one of the um she's one of the judges and she was on bon appetit where I don't know if you know the Bon Appetit tea. No. Oh my God. So Bon Appetit is like, there was like a YouTube channel. There still is where there's like a group of people and they like do this test kitchen where they're always like cooking shows and okay. like cooking different things and blah, blah, blah. And their videos on YouTube would get like millions of views. Mm. And it was all run by like this mega corporation that when that whole, like, I don't know, during the pandemic when a lot of people came forward and was like talking about racism and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. Apparently the main guy that was running Bon Appetit was like super racist. (gasps) And a lot of people came out that worked at Bon Appetit, including Sola saying that they were underpaid. They were getting paid $30,000 a year to live in New York city Impossible. and do these shows. And people who were white were getting paid way more. And like, there was all this uh, discrimination and stuff. And so a lot of these people left Bon Appetit, including her. Okay. And so she's on this show now, like as a, as a judge and it is such a good show. Like you guys need to watch it. It's like heart wrenching. They make all these good brunch meals Mm. and, yeah, okay, definitely, so down. definitely watch it. But one HBO, of the HBO man, HBO has HBO way best to go shows. The best. They they, they 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 like spun this little cool fun fact that I did not know about. Did you know the origin story of tapas? Like where tapas came from? Mm, oh my god, where? I thought I was somewhere like in France. So in Spain, um, it actually originated in Spain, and why it's called tapas is back in the day they would be drinking their wine and there'd be a ton of flies around, and so they would take. <laughs> their little like ramekin things and put it on top of their wine to prevent flies from coming into their wine because flies obviously love wine. They started doing this so often that they were like, we might as well just start putting food on these little plates that are going on top of our wine. (laughs) And then that's where tapas originated from. That's why they're all little small plates because that's how they originated. Cute. It's like the more you freaking know. I love tapas. That's the best way to eat is sharing food. So good. Okay, that's the show I'm going to watch this weekend because... 
I don't have plans this really this weekend, so I'm gonna be watching the yes. big brunch. Do it, do it. Um, I love that. Um, what else? Should we, there's too many shows on there's here. There's so I'm many. Well, um, did you you went and saw the Mario movie? We did. We saw it last night. It was actually it was good. It was really good. Like I went in there. My Skeptical. expectations were pretty low. I was like, okay, but Matt, we were either gonna see that or the Nike, the new Nike movie Air. Oh. Um, but we we're like, okay, which movie would be better to see in, in the theater? Theaters, Obviously, yeah. Mario. It wasn't 3D. I don't like 3D, but it was like in VIP. It was so, it was so good. I thought it was so well done, and there were some really cool scenes. Like the graphics were unreal. There were so many like core memories that got unlocked for me because I'm like a big Nintendo girly. Me grew too. up Nintendo, Nintendo 64, like play the Mario Brothers, play Donkey Kong. And yep. like there was this, like when they introduced Donkey Kong, it like literally unlocked such a huge memory. I like went home and YouTubed like the old N64 game for oh. Donkey Kong. And I was like, wow, like what a time to be a child. Yeah. We grew up during the best era. Best hands down. era. But definitely go see it. And try and see while it's in theaters. Theaters. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, because like you're in the game kind of like moving around and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. And there's like, the, like, I didn't like really, like I didn't know how they were going to swing the whole story and just like the way that they did it i thought it was just really well done okay and you can tell like these the people that wrote this like they put a lot of thought and they played the game and they were like invested in the characters yeah and it wasn't like too long it wasn't dragged out it was the perfect amount of time it's like an hour and a half like you're in you're out and i laughed Sometimes it, movies are too long, like three hours. I'm yeah, like, I gotta pee. A Mario movie doesn't exactly. Mario <laughs> doesn't need to be three hours long. Like, no, come on, it really doesn't. But yeah, it was it was uh, really good. I really I really want you to. see Okay, it. I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna yeah. go see it this week. Also, I'm excited for the Barbie movie to come out this summer. I saw the trailer. and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they picked the best people to play Dude, Barbie and Ken. Yeah, Margot Robbie and, and um, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. No, Ryan Reynolds. No, Ryan, no, Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Yeah, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. One of the people Ryans. were like comparing him to uh, Ellen. Because of his hair, they were just like, "Oh my god, is this Ellen Stop. DeGeneres?" I'm that's like, so, oh my god, funny. "So funny!" Yeah, no, I think that's going to be like the movie of the summer but for apparently sure. the budget for that movie was like something ridiculous, like a hundred million, like oh my something really ridiculous because of how they had to like. If you look at it, it looked like a whole new world that they yeah. created. I wonder if it's going to get like a bit like twisted or weird because you know, like the, the trailer. I don't know if I've seen the full trailer. I saw the trailer and it just it didn't lead it on too much. Give too much. Didn't and give I anything. It's gonna be kind of. Fun we should see up. it in theaters together. I was just thinking. Ah! That. Okay, we're done. We're gonna, we're gonna watch go. It. We're gonna go. Um and okay, we have you been watching obviously um, Vanderpump? Vanderpump. Oh my god! Literally the last episode. I'm like, Rachel is insane. In. Same. And like all these times, like Ariana keeps saying all these things. I'm like, oh my God, this is. If we didn't know wild. what we knew, like if we didn't know all this stuff about the scan of all thing, I would feel bad for her. I would feel bad for, I would Re- feel really for Rachel. Bad for her. And I because would be like, Katie's overreacting. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, Katie, I feel like is kind of annoying though. I'm like, why did you even go to this wedding? Like, she's just sitting there. She's like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, if I was Sheena, I'd be like, why are you here? Yeah, <laughs> like, it is leave. a bit weird. She's like, like, I can do whatever I want. I'm like, well. This is weird. The resort they, they're staying at looks insane. Insane. Um, not to jump into tabloid, but like, have you been hearing too? Like now apparently there's like rumors about Rachel and Brock. No. Yeah. Apparently they hooked up too. And he was like drunk and like was bragging about it to some of his friends. I don't know how deep this, this lie or this rumor goes, but I'm like, my heart can't handle this. Like there's, it has, it has to be not true i was but that's what i thought about the original scandal i was literally thinking like sheena probably has the best life out of the group right now because she has like a baby but she has a partner Mm -hmm. and like it just seems like she has it together compared to the rest of them that their lives are all kind of falling apart yeah but if that's true true, then men are trash yeah and rachel needs to get gone yeah she needs a lot of therapy Mm -mm. because that's insane have you been hearing so we knew about Kendall and Bad Bunny, and we don't know if that's like a PR stunt. We talked about it, I yeah. think. But now Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, I can't picture that. I just feel like it would be, he's so small. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And she's so like, not big, but she needs like a, yeah. I just feel like Travis he would, Scott she, was pretty like yeah. a skinny boy, but he, at least he was tall. Like Timothy is like five, six. But it just doesn't really make sense. Her type does not make sense. Yeah. But maybe she needs to get away from her type because yeah. her type has, you know, been toxic, been a little bit toxic. We but I did see also her. a video of Kendall and Bad Bunny, like at Coachella together, like from some random person's phone. And like, it looked just chilling. It looked 
It looked like they were like cute and like okay. his arms I around s- her and stuff. I saw a video of her like listening to him perform at Coachella and she was so awkward. <laughs> like, we, you know what's hard? She knows that everyone's videotaping yeah, her. Yeah, so I she would can't. hate that. So she's like, at one point she was like, uh, and then she yeah. remembered and she was like, she went yeah. back to like being awkward and I'm like, oh my God, this is my worst nightmare. Literally. Because like I get drunk and like I'm a mess oh and I'm like, no God. one's going to remember this, but people oh my God. just like recording I wish you were there on the weekend we didn't talk about our weekends but when we were at standard like we were just popping off like dancing so much and hannah just started this whole like dance party and like she kendall couldn't do that like no. there's no way i would have been way too embarrassed to dance the way that i danced on the weekend and i'm so happy i don't give a fuck yeah because i'm, I'm not so famous happy. and no one gives a fuck about me yeah i'm so <laughs> happy like sometimes i'm like thank god that we don't have paparazzi and oh my god okay sorry to change the subject but we i just recently listened to paris hilton on jay shetty's podcast oh my god i need to listen <gasps> to this i love her i love her i'm so glad her voice is normal now she's yeah and you know she she talked about how like this voice that she made she made this like character for herself to like deal with all the trauma, trauma. she went through and then she kind of just like believed this character that she made she used it as like a coping mechanism yeah so now that she's like using her normal voice, which is just like, it's fine. It's just not like super high pitched. It's like a bit deeper. She's yeah. like, you can tell she's just like comfortable with who she is now. So she wrote a book. So she had her documentary that came out in like 2019 yeah. about how she went. If you haven't watched that documentary, definitely go yeah, watch really it good. because it's really good. But that traumatic experience of her like getting pulled out of her bed mm-hmm. to go to those facilities or calling it's, them boarding yeah. schools, but they're like literally prison. Yeah. So she wrote a book about her other traumas and man she's gone through a lot of shit like she talks about how she pretty much got raped Mm. she got roofied like her her teacher took advantage of her when she was in the eighth grade really and her parents are like kind of fucked up like they didn't really help her they really didn't they kind of turned like a blind eye to it and they were like years later now that she wrote this book they were like oh my god we didn't know any of this and it's like Mm. how did you not know did you not know or did you not listen you know that's my thing 100 percent. so she talked a lot about this on she, Jay Shetty. yeah and she also talks about how she's actually changing law and legislation in nine different states so far about Whoa. to close these facilities because they're still open they're eh? still Holy open crap. apparently it's a billion dollar industry because it's all it's rich all billionaires yeah it's all rich people sending their kids and of course people are like guys those are just rich people but at the end of the day they're people and yeah. they're getting and the thing about rich people's parents is they aren't as intimate with their kids Mm -hmm. as like most people are so they have no idea they're getting these brochures false advertising Mm -hmm. and they're literally killing children apparently a few people have died at these facilities that's fucked up and like they've covered them up so anyway she went to now she's going to like federal court she's going to the white house she's actually trying to like change laws so good for her she's fucking killing it man oh my gosh like people just underestimated her so hard and she's a business woman like dude on a fun more lighter side of her i yeah. love her too because one time she was on i forget what talk show she was on i think it was drew barrymore and she's talking about how she has like five different cell phones have you seen <gasps> this yes yes yeah, she's like you know one's like a burner that's phone that's like yeah. one is like for family and friends one is like the number i give when i'm like feel bad, bad. Someone asks for my number and i don't want to say no and there's another one and but then the fifth one is for prank phone calls yes oh my that's god so funny like she's do you remember making prank phone calls yeah Yes, yes all, the all the time. Star 67 so that they didn't see your number. Yeah, but now it's pound 31 pound. Oh, oh shit. Are you still making pounds? No, I'm <laughs> still making pounds. <laughs> I was making um, prank calls this weekend. No, sometimes I have to call from a block number. So <laughs> some people, I don't want them to know my phone number oh for some business related phone calls. <laughs> but if I were to prank phone call, it's pound 31 pounds. Pound 31 pounds. Yeah, that's so oh funny. And when she God. said that, I was like, I love Paris Hilton. She's, She's so cool. So She's so good. Apparently, one of the <clears throat> interviews that they did with Kim, she was because Kim worked with her for so long. She's like, Paris would always have like three or four outfits in her purse at all times. <laughs> She's like, we don't know if we were going to get on a jet to go to like Ibiza, oh if we were going to go to Vegas. If we were, she was like, she would have literally be prepared at all times to just like go wherever, whenever. That's insane. Like, I'm swinging. Imagine. And just, now she has a baby. She has a little baby. Oh my gosh. Apparently, I didn't, did she even know she had, she was pregnant? I feel I like. I think they had a surrogate. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she could. Okay, because yeah. I was like, when did this baby no, come yeah, into the picture? Had a surrogate. Okay. Honestly, if I had a billion dollars, I would, I would, I have, would a have a surrogate too. too. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, let's go. Yeah, especially because she's like in her 40s now. So just, like, she probably freezed. Yeah, oh, yeah. Big she froze time. her egg from a while back. Can you tell me when 
it says here you're talking about Ariana speaking on her body concerns because I haven't like heard about any of that. Ariana speaking out about her body concerns. I didn't hear about this. What? I didn't write that. Did I? Maybe that. Did you write about this? Oh, I'm thinking. Okay, wait, no. I was thinking of Ariana from VPR, but I wrote this about Ariana Grande. Grande. Okay. I was like, I don't okay. remember this. Yeah. This is like, or like same brain. I'm like, who wrote this? Me or you? <laughs> I sh- need to write Grande or Maddox. <laughs> because right because, before it is Ariana, H- Ariana. 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 Anyway, yeah. So people were like commenting about her body weight, right? Because she lost, she looks like she lost a lot of weight. Yeah. And she, her hair is like blonde now. And like, she just looks a, a lot different. And she she openly like came out and was like hey listen like the body you saw of me like a few years ago was actually when I was at my unhealthiest like I was on antidepressants I was binge drinking I was binge eating and like even though you might think that's my healthiest look in your eyes like that was the unhealthiest I've been in like my life and like I'm in a better place now and you never know what people are going through and like the struggle they're going through so like you know just like don't judge people right away when you see them and don't make these assumptions and I was like damn and also just like don't comment on people's weight as much as like people are always like judging people's weights Mm -hmm. where okay i get it we're in this ozempic period but i don't think she she was never big to like she's start just, oh no she's, she's always, always been, been really small, small and like sure. a petite girl mm-hmm. yeah and also like she's that, just though. growing up and i find like when she's like 22 versus like going into her 30s like i feel like women's faces just change and your yep. bone structure just changes a little bit and you're like my face used to be super round when i was Me in too. my early 20s and like it's much thinner now so it's like okay well me versus 10 years ago like obviously i'm gonna look a little bit different 100 percent. i was looking at like old like photos and snapchat memories and i was like my face looked so bloated, but it was just like baby. Yeah, you have like a little your baby face. In your face. 20s. Like you're actually still a baby. You're a little baby, but yeah. then now you grow up and then. And you're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Okay, did you see Tom on? Um, oh my god, whose podcast was he on? Tom Sandoval. Oh, was he was on. like um, Howie Mandel or something. Yeah, right? so that random. was so like I was like, is this the Price Is Right or yeah. not Price Is Right? What was that show called? Deal or No Deal. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. Deal or oh No Deal. <laughs> Megan, Megan Markle was one of those girls. Did you yes. know that? Yes. Anyway, yeah, he goes on Howie Mandel's podcast and it's great like, podcast to go on, buddy. Mm, like so what? weird, spilling all the tea about how we tried to break up with her like before, and then like she was like, no, if you leave me, like. I'm going to end my life. And then she was like punching him and shit, like accusing her of like being physically abusive to him. I'm like, wait, what? I'm Uh, like, shut up, Tom. Yeah, I don't believe that. I I feel like he's just, he's just me. Maybe there is some truth to that because I feel like their relationship has been like rocky. Yeah. But that doesn't justify your cheating. You could have just ended it. Like, and even at that point, like he said, this was around Valentine's Day. I'm like, buddy, you had been cheating at that point for like five months. Yeah. Like, what? No. But no. did you see how she's like moved on and making out with yes. someone? Yes. At Coachella? Who is this man? Who is this man? I don't know. I don't know. I can't mm-hmm. wait for like upcoming seasons of Vanderpump because I'm just like, there's so much to unpack. I can't wait for the reunion. Oh my God, the reunion. Do you know when it's coming out? Is it June? It's in May. Okay, so. we're watching it together. Yeah. Like all three parts of them. How many episodes are left? Like there was one last know. night? I don't know either. We have to watch the new one. Wait. The w- is it? There's today. It's today, tonight. which will be out tomorrow. Yeah. We can watch it. Well, mine doesn't come out till tomorrow. And hey, yeah. you. But anyway, it's been a journey. A journey. Mm-hmm. Like, I, there's so much to unpack there. Um, You know what else is coming back is um the Kardashians, the new season. But Courtney and Travis have their own, like, episode yeah. first about their wedding. Okay. So I'm excited for this. I think that's coming up in the next, I think it's either I feel this like week. This is or the next third week. season, but it's been. It's only been like a year since they've been back on. Like they pump out seasons so, so fast. Qu- it's like three months a season. <laughs> like yeah. a new season. I also feel like the trailer is really vague. Like it's like I know there's shit that's going to go down, but I don't know like what exactly it is. They've been radio silent for yeah. a little bit. So right? uh, like nothing's on? really going on with them. So mm-hmm. I feel like something's going to happen. It's something like gonna pop I don't know what's going to go on. But yeah, I'm excited to see Courtney and Travis's wedding. It looked really beautiful. Um, it was in Italy, right? Yeah, it was in Italy. Mm-hmm. Finally, you remember that show? I think at the beginning of this friggin' podcast, we were talking about the show called The Idol with The Weeknd. The Weeknd starring in oh it. Oh my gosh, yes. Do you remember that? That yes, was yes, over yes. a year ago Holy I brought shit, up like this last summer. HBO show. It's kind of like Euphoria. It's yes. called The Idol. Finally, they have a release date of June 4th. They just Ooh. released two days ago that June 4th, finally, it's coming out. Dan Levy's actually yeah, in the show. Wait, what? 
Jen Levy is a and Abel, isn't it too? Abel, oh it's God. Abel's show. So Abel, we can actually yes. create this show. Okay, I'm really excited for this because I'm sorry, Euphoria, you're taking so fucking long to and come out with your next season. Last like, of I'm, Us is done. I'm over it. We need yeah. a new show. I need something else. We need an HBO show. So I'm okay, excited. Yeah, yeah. So June fourth. That means a trailer is probably gonna drop soon. There's been a couple trailers and oh. people are like, the weekend can't act. <laughs> They're saying, oh my gosh, she was in Uncut Gems. The Uncut Gems. I mean, he played himself. But yeah. I feel like he can act. And I think when he's in his music videos, he does a really good job at acting. I have to keep forgetting that he's the weekend and just take it yeah. as he is. Yeah. Sometimes I find like when it, you know a character so well, like if Kim Kardashian randomly plays in a movie, I'm like, I can't, for, I keep forgetting can't that forget. it, yeah. yeah, I'm like, it's Kim, you mm-hmm. know, but I have to forget that that's yeah. her. You know who did a really him. good job at that was Harry Styles and Don't <gasps> Darling. I'm he like, Harry who? Killed like, it. Like, you're whoever this man is in this movie. That was a really good movie and I know people hated it, but I I love good. that movie. It was so good. Also, back to people saying that The Weeknd can act. People don't understand how hard it is to be an actor. Like, so hard. I feel like only like 1% of the population like can act. We try to make freaking TikTok videos where we kind of have to act. And I'm like, oh. Literally. <laughs> like, it's hard. It's hard to pretend to be something, someone else that you're not. And especially when there's a whole group and crew of people yes. watching you. Whenever I watch a movie and there's a really fucked up scene, I'm like whoa i can't believe they filmed this in front of like a camera crew like this is insane insane it's just on another level oh my god random but i was watching mark Wahlberg has a a documentary like a docu-series i think it's called wall street and it talks (laughs) yeah wall like wall street (laughs) and dude this guy has like 11 different businesses going on he has Wahlburger. Mm, he has like a fitness brand yeah he has like a tequila company really yeah he has a tequila company he has like a media company he has like a podcast company he has all this stuff okay and he and it the documentary is really cool like shows him on his day-to-day but Man, it showed him preparing for a movie. I forget what movie it was, but he had to gain a ton of weight for the movie. Yeah, that's another thing. And like lose all the weight. And he had to consume 11,000 calories a day. That's so many. And it showed him just like eating scoops of peanut butter in between meals. because like throw up. Like, and it's insane, guys. He got like bigger and then he had to lose it all. And it's just so unhealthy. And he has so many people around him at all times. Yeah. And I was like, this is a crazy life that you live. Like, you're a different kind of person. All right, let's end with a little bang, marry, kill. Okay, yes. Okay, I have one for you. Okay, give me it. Okay. Give me the bang, marry, kill. It's three brands. So Nike, Adidas, Reebok. Okay, immediately kill Reebok. I don't own anything that's Reebok. I feel like I'm not cool enough. I only have like the sports bras and a couple like apparel items, but no shoes. Yeah. Yeah. So Reebok, Reebok, we can do without. We can go. Um, I'm going to marry Nike. I'm a Nike girl through and through and I'm going to bang Adidas. Oh, wait, I, lo- I love my Adidas <laughs> shoes so much. I'm wearing them now, but it's hard because Adidas is really good, um, apparel, but yeah. Nike's apparel is lame. Like it's no, just whatever, it's but a check mark, it's a check it. mark. Mm-hmm. Adidas has good apparel, but Nike shoes. Like yeah. think of all the Nikes. Nike Metcons, yeah. Nike Pegasus, like Air Force. Like, Air Force. Yeah. I just no. feel like we can't. No, you got it. Oh my gosh. And also like the story behind nike like is just the ultimate story what's so. the story what's the, the story the book you never read or have you never read the book no i've never Stop. read the book Nina? what's the book what is that what is it called shoe dog you've never read this book. no i've never read the book <gasps> the story behind nike i literally have goosebumps okay, okay i'm getting this on my kindle you have to read it just like talks about like the owner and how he started like this company for nike and you know like classic like underdog story like yep. gets rejected gets rejected and then slowly but surely it's just like turns into this like multi-billion dollar company that we know of today as Nike. What's his name? Phil Knight. Phil Knight. Dude, this story is so good. You could probably read this book in a weekend. Okay, well now that fucking care fair fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, Carrie Soto. Soto is done. Fuck Carrie this Soto. This book was so bad. I don't know who Guys, recommended this book to us, but I'm mad at them. I was mad at you for a bit because <laughs> you're like, let's read this book together. We'll have so much to talk about. Nothing. There was nothing to talk her, about. Her dad. Like, her dad at the end her was her like... Her dad then. fucking died. Great. <laughs> she became the coach. Cool. Literally the... Like nothing happened. I was like by the end just skipping through most of it because I just wanted to finish the book. Yeah. If you are like trying to find a book to read, don't read Carrie Soto. Do not read it. We just saved you like 10 hours of your life. But Verity, are you reading Verity right now? I just started. I'm already on chapter six. <laughs> it's I can't so put good. it down. It's so the good. The first page of Verity was better than the entire <laughs> Carrie Soto book. The first page had my jaw on the floor. 
guys i what came fuck? from wa- reading verity to carrie soto and i was oh, like okay i feel bad for you because i have the opposite i went from carrie soto to verity yeah. now i'm like whoa this is a novel I-, I feel like i can't trust goodreads anymore because no. goodreads like carrie soto did so well like 4.6 out of seven, five or something like, I like a little spanish cool. yeah no i'm i'm Pichula. done <laughs> I thought it was Argentinian or something yeah, or Portuguese. You, and so you made me feel bad. I was like, oh, I thought that was Spanish. It was Portuguese, apparently. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But yeah, yeah, we're I'm I'm excited to start a new book. And yes. maybe it's gonna be this book because I need to read this. Oh my really? Yeah, read this and then I'll finish Verity and then we'll read a good book yes. together. Okay. Not from Goodreads. Yes, got it. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for <laughs> coming along thanks on for, our um, journey with us. Yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> um, let us know what you think of this new little setup that we have going on. I yeah. feel like it did really help with being able to see you. Yeah. Just like chatting more. So yes. Just like looking at the camera. Yeah. But we liked it. We like it. Yeah. Okay. We love hey, you guys. That was, you. I think, 33. So yeah. we're back. Woo-hoo. Okay. We love you. Bye. See you.